Hi, I'm Johnny from UltimatePaperMache.com, and in this video, I want to show you the really fast, easy way that I painted my little pink pig. Um, he goes on the wall. I've already showed you how the pattern goes together and how you put the expression on there. Now, you don't have to paint your pig this way. <laughs> uh, for one thing, I did use the golden acrylic glazing liquid and my system kind of requires it, so if you don't want to use this, um, you certainly don't have to. You could paint a beautiful pig without it, but this this particular video does rely pretty heavily on this stuff. I also used four different acrylic colors, black, white, burnt umber, and cadmium red light. And you don't have to make a pink pig because there's lots of different colors of pigs. Just go out and do a Google image search for pig breeds or swine breeds and you're going to see a lot of different ones. Some of them have long curly hair even. I mean there's a real big difference between breeds. And just choose, choose the one you want and go ahead and paint him any way you like to. In this video I'm going to show you how I did it. This one really fast. So let's get to it. I'm just going to add a couple of coats of acrylic gesso. This is going to give me a really nice surface to paint on. Now, I know a lot of people ask about what gesso is. Uh, it, that's something that people use when they're painting on canvas. It's basically it's a primer. That, that's what a painter would call it. You know, the kind of painter who paints houses would call it a primer. But artists call it gesso, and it's just a, a white covering. It makes a nice ground. Uh, makes it uh, um, a lot brighter when the colors go on it than they would be if you were to paint directly on the paper mache. So I'm going to do this really, really simply. I'm using white and cadmium red light. I just mixed it together. I thought I was going to add just a little bit of yellow to it to make it a little bit more Caucasian colored, but um, the photograph that I'm using as a model has it this color, <laughs> the whole thing. So I'm going to paint this on. I did thin it out just a little bit with water to make it go on a little easier. Now I want to put a fairly transparent glaze of white. I wanted to um, kind of indicate the fact that he's got white fur, but you can see through that fur because it's really sparse and so you can see through it to see the pink underneath. I don't want to paint on white hairs. I don't think that would work at all. So I'm just going to use basically white and my glazing liquid. I'm using the glazing liquid because it slows down the drying time and I'll be able to cover big pieces without making any stripes where part of it is dry and I add more wet to it. That way I, w I just don't have to work quite so fast. I also have a towel here, a paper towel, and if necessary I'll even go and get it wet because if it seems like I'm covering up too much of the pink I'm, I will be able to go back and pull off the glaze if I've got a paper towel handy. The glazing liquid will dry clear, so it's a little hard right now to tell exactly what color I'm going to end up with. You can barely see it. Sometimes I'll go back over and do several glazes right on top of each other. And it's transparent, you can see through them, but it gives a just kind of a, a liveliness to the to the painting. Now that glaze is dry and it is so faint you can barely see the white, but it did change it a little bit and I really like the way it turned out. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the glazing liquid and some burnt umber and I'm going to use it for his eyes. Just pulling some of that back off with a a dry brush. Want some of that pink to show through. Yeah. So I put that other eye on there while you weren't looking. Okay, now I'm going to use that same dark, but a little bit more of it, right in there. This is the inside of his mouth, of course. I'm going to go down this way and down this way. And I'm going to grab my paper towel. Just trying to soften it up a bit so that there's um, not a real strong line right there. And I'm going to use my wet one. I don't want the dark brown as far as it went out. 
want a little bit right here behind his smile muscle and a little bit right there. Not much, but it's that's I think that's gonna work. In fact I like it, so I'm gonna do the rest of his smile. Now that just gives me just a shadow under that upper lip. What I want to do now is just put a pupil, a black pupil, right in the middle of those eyes. So I gave him some pupils. I had to do that while I was holding them up so that I could see what I was doing. I hit the eyes with a hair dryer. I'm going to use some white mixed with some ultramarine blue for the highlight in the eye. I'm just going to draw some across there. Clean off my brush, go back with the pure white, just drop it right there. One more over here. Look how he came alive when I did that. So that's all I have for you today. If you haven't already downloaded the pattern, but you would like to make a pig of your own, you can find it at ultimatepapermache.com slash pig. If you do make one, remember, I would love to see how it turns out. So please come back to the Daily Sculptors page on my blog and post a photograph. I, I really want to see how all these come out. Come on back and visit me, ultimatepapermache.com. I'll see you there.